In this video I'm going to show you how to generate bingo cards uh, which you can use in, in teaching or for English as a second language ESL classes or for special occasions like Halloween or Christmas or a birthday or a baby shower or a bridal shower and you can customize the bingo cards and the bingo game to your requirements. Okay, uh, I'm using a program called Bingo Card Printer which you can download from bingocardprinter.com and I've downloaded and started the program and this is the initial screen which shows me what the uh, program looks like. There are two main options here. Create new bingo card project where I'm going to start uh, creating my new uh, bingo activity uh, or open existing bingo card project where I can um, continue working on a, 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 a bingo activity that I started on working later. So I can save my work and then uh, continue uh, later on or come back and use, reuse the work and modify it another day. So I'm going to start off by creating a new bingo card project. Now I can start from a blank bingo card and just type in my own word or item list um, from scratch. I can choose a pre-existing uh, combination like letters or numbers or um, geography like names of countries or math or reading like um, the famous Dolch sight words which are words that students need to learn to recognize by sight or history or any of these topics um, or I can create my own and I can use these um, topics um, uh, uh, as they are or I can add to items to it, I can delete items, I can change items, and I can also customize the bingo card's appearance. But I'll start from a, a blank list just to show you how easy it is to create uh, your list from scratch. Now I've decided I'm going to create, just as an example, um, some bingo cards with the names of various animals on it. Um, perhaps that might be useful for an ESL class or a children's reading class. Um, but obviously you could choose any topic you like at all. and um, uh, so I've started the program now ready to start entering my items and I just type them in. So if I chose my first item to be a alligator, uh, ant, let's say cat, dog, that, I can just type them in any order I like. Eagle, frog, hippo, rhino, uh, giraffe, let's say I mistyped that one, which made a spelling mistake. I can just highlight it and delete it and I can now enter a corrected version. Um, wolf, let's say bear, lion, cheetah, that's a few reptiles, turtle, viper, cobra, python, and um, maybe some uh, domestic an domesticated animals, sheep. You can see the words are filling out in the order that I enter them. I, as long as I have enough to fill out the bingo cards, um, all the spaces, it will, I'll be happy. Uh, I can add more items, of course, if I want. So let's add a few more. Uh, perhaps I will enter um, cheetah. I've already done that one. So it warns me if I've done a duplicate. Hit hyena and uh, tiger. That'll do for now. Um, I, there's also another nice option here, which I'll just mention quickly. Uh, add multiple items, uh, which allows me to type in one item per line, which is not that different from what I did just here, but I also can paste in a whole list of items. So I can copy and paste the list from a word processor or a website or, or a PDF document or a load of text file. So it's a very quick way of adding lots of items very quickly, especially if you've already got that information in another media. Um, okay. Now I'm now looking at my sample bingo card with the words in, in the order I enter them. If I want to, I can sort the word words into alphabetical order. Um, so there's my example. Um, I can also change the size of a bingo card. So I can use a 3x3 three three bingo card, 5x5 five five or 7x7. Seven 7x7, seven. Seven seven, I haven't actually entered enough items to fill out the card. So that wouldn't work yet. I'd have to enter a few more items. So let's do 5x5. Five and choose whether or not to have the heading on the bingo card and I can change the word so I could put example uh, animals or um, I could change that back to bingo let's, let's put animals for now it doesn't go one word per column but it looks quite nice I can choose whether or not to have that free space in the middle or not which of course is a special square with the rules of bingo um, and I can change the wording on it 
if I want to. Um, and I can also use colors and formatting to change the appearance. So um, let's uh, use some fonts. Uh, it takes a moment to load because I have quite a lot of fonts on my system, more than most people have. But there you are. You can choose a heading. Uh, choose one type of font for the heading. Perhaps I'll choose uh, some nice uh, script font for the for the heading and the squares. I'll make something nice and um, readable. Perhaps a, a nice uh, courier font. And the free space I'll leave it as it is for now. And I'll click OK, and the fonts change. I can also use symbol fonts, so for example if I wanted to uh, use a font with um, Greek letters or equations in it, I could do that, music notation, um, and then I can actually see on the bingo cards those special characters. Um, I can change the colours, so um, I can change the colours of the individual squares, the heading, uh, also the free space, and I can use a checkerboard of colours as well um, if I like, so let's say let's have a blue and red. Uh, it's going to be quite dark, so perhaps I'll choose dark blue there and choose the light colours for the text. Light blue, green and uh, yellow, say. I'll leave the free space as it is. I can change the heading colour as well. Let's make it, this is probably going to be quite a, quite obnoxious colour combination, but we'll try it and see. I can change the line colours. Uh, maybe we'll make that yet another colour, just so we can see what it looks like. Uh, and I'll click that, and there's my uh, example in the colours I've chosen. Um, uh, and um, now I also have some other options here. Print a call list, which is a list of items in a random order. So I can just, if I'm acting as a bingo caller in a classroom situation, it's very useful to have a list of items already printed out. I don't need to pull the items out of a hat or anything. I just uh, read the items out from my pre-printed sheet if I'm the teacher. Um, I can turn that on or off. I can choose a number of items to print bingo cards to print on each page. Um, if I print more bingo cards on each page, obviously each bingo card will be smaller. Uh, I could save paper, uh, although the disadvantage is I'd have to actually cut the um, paper up if I wanted to give one bingo card to each student or each player. So I'll leave that on one, and I can choose a number of bingo cards to print. Now, the more um, uh, I print, I can print 1, 10, 100, 1,000, up to 9,999 bingo cards in one go. Uh, and each bingo card will be different with the words in different order, different selection of words, um, and I'll show you that. Um, but I'll just put in 10 for now, and uh, I'll show you that by doing a print or print preview in this example so that you can um, see uh, exactly what it is. So the first sheet is a call list. It's actually in the font that I chose to display the text, uh, that the courier font. Uh, and if I do next page, you'll now see the first bingo card here. Um, again, in the same fonts and colours it would print out in. Uh, and if I now go to the um, next bingo card, it will be a different words in a different random order, and so on, and so on, and so on. And that's basically uh, it in terms of creating um, the bingo cards. Um, I can also save my work using this option here and continue. Um, and there's also one extra option that's worth mentioning. Uh, apart from a cool call list, there is also a built-in call feature calling the items out, which sort of acts, acts as a hat. So it chooses one word at a time from the list. So it chooses hippo as my first word in this example at random. I click next, and the next word will be uh, a different word chosen at random. And, next, and as you can see, it's not only giving me the current word, it keeps a list of all the previous items that have been pulled out of the hat. So when somebody shouts bingo, it's very easy to check if they've actually got what they claim to have or whether uh, they've cheating, made a mistake, something like that. And that's it. Uh, if you go to bingocardprinter.com, you can download a free trial version of the software. Hopefully you will like it. Um, and if you like it, you can upgrade to the full version, uh, which allows you to do everything that you've seen in this video and a bit more besides as well. So that's it, bingocardprinter.com. Go to the website, download it, try it out. I think you will love the program. Thanks very much.